South Koreans became a year or two younger on Wednesday. New laws that require using only the international method of counting age took effect, replacing the country's traditional method. This was how the traditional age system works. People are deemed to be a year old at birth, and a year is added every January 1st. Since the early 1960s, the country has used the international norm of calculating from zero at birth and adding a year on every birthday for medical and legal documents. But many South Koreans continue to use the traditional method for everything else. Some, like Choi Hunji, are happy to be, quote, younger again. I'm supposed to be 30 next year in the traditional Korean age system, but with this new age system, I became two years younger. It's just great to feel like you're getting younger, and I feel a bit of distance from becoming 30. I'm so happy that I can celebrate this year's birthday once again in a younger age. According to a government survey conducted in September 2022, 86% of South Koreans said they would use the international age in their everyday life when the new laws took effect. Minister of Government Legislation Lee Wan Kyo said on Monday, they expect legal disputes, complaints and social confusion to be greatly reduced. Another age system exists in South Korea for conscription, school entrance and calculating the legal age to drink alcohol and smoke. A person's age is calculated from zero at birth and a year is added on January 1st. Officials said that method would remain for the time being.